guys, welcome to another Bucket Plugger tutorial and today it's on the minigame War. So this is made by Tommy Tony and it's uh, one of my favourite minigames ever made because you can configure it a lot um, which allow me to make a minigame using this plugin called Grief Warfare where you've just got stacks of TNT, uh, diamond armour with um, the explosion protection um, and yeah that was really fun as you could blow up all the uh, surroundings and then it would reset at the end so that's a really nice feature. So we're going to want to grab the world edit apps and select the top corner and the bottom right hand corner to form a cuboid selecting all of the arena. Uh, you can do this uh, a multiple amount of ways but uh, honestly I just prefer uh, the world edit way because the uh, world edit is great. So, uh, now that we've selected it from corner to corner, we're going to want to do set zone and call it something. So we're going to call it, um, we should call it YouTube. So yeah, that will uh, create it. And it will uh, create the lobby on the south side and it will create the war hub. So obviously we don't want these here. Uh, so we can move them. I'll show you how to do that now. So set war hub will move it below me. So if you create more um, if you actually create more uh, arenas, they will be along here and it will remove all this grass. So you'll have lots of portals. And from the war hub, which are in now, you can go to the lobby of a particular war zone. So we're going to move this away from the arena so it doesn't <coughs> um, set lobby. It's set zone lobby, isn't it? Set zone lobby. YouTube should move it. Over here, there you go. So this will have teams once we've set teams. So it's really cool the way you set teams. Um, there's all these different teams. So we're gonna pick two. You can have as many as you want, which is really cool. Um, so I don't know, purple, purple's cool. Purple. There we go. Um, you, you don't, it's pretty cool because you don't have to have like blue and red. You can have <laughs> as many as you want. So green. I like green. And I don't know, we could create another. Why not? Uh, so there's there's even like diamond and gold, so that's cool. Yeah, so let me just check something quickly. Uh, I'm watching the DreamHack qualifier for Counter Strike at the moment where Copenhagen Wolves are playing against uh, 3D Max. So it's 10-10 it's at the moment, so that's quite uh, pretty awesome. Uh, watching CSGO matches. Anyway, uh, what else do we need to do? Set flags and whatnot. So we can set team flag, uh, followed by the team colors, so purple. And that will set a flag there, and we can set a green one. So these would have to be captured by the enemy, like that. So give it a few seconds and it will pop up. So that, yeah, there. So uh, not only are there flags, but there are many other things. So there are uh, cakes, so set cake, cake one. Um, and that will spawn in there in a second. There's also bombs, which you have to blow up. So set bomb, bomb one. So um, you, in a match uh, or arena, you probably wouldn't have all of these. You'd probably only pick one or two. So capture the flag, you'd obviously use the flag ones. If you wanted sort of demolition sort of thing, you'd have this bomb thing here. And there are monuments, so I think it's set mon monument. Uh, monument one. No, that's not the command. But uh, monuments are used to. Um, actually, that is the correct command. Am I spelling it wrong? Mon. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I uh, typed it wrong. But they can heal players. That's what they do. Yeah, so that's how you create monuments. There's one there. And yeah, so now that we've created the arena, we've added all the spawns for the things people can capture and blow up, and the team spawns. And now, uh, in the uh, lobby, you can actually see there's team portals. So uh, we could jo join the arena now. Um, we haven't set up the config yet, but uh, we can actually start playing now, which is pretty cool. So... Um, can't steal green's flag. Yes, because nobody else is playing. So we're going to want to do war leave and uh, edit the zone. 
Zone CFG. So there is a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff. So I won't be going over all of it because most of it's pretty simple. But I'll show you how to make a kit uh, because, well, you just you want to give people like um, different things they can get. So let me slap on some of this armor. I've already got some, and just get some random items in my inventory, and then <clears throat> I'll show sure you how to do it. But first, zone CFG um, friendly fire colon uh, false. And I think you have to put the zone in before uh, the flag. So uh, there's also other things like life pool. That's a very important one. So you could potentially set uh, five lives. And um, once you've died five times, you're out and your team lost. So um, five lives, by the way, is um, the team has uh, five lives, not per person. So you might want to change that accordingly. Um, before I do loadout, let me just see if so you can just customize it how you want team sizes and stuff. Uh, instant break, that's pretty cool, but I'd uh, I'd turn it off. Min players colon boop. I'll get link and park on, and then we can have a play. But now loadout. Uh, I know this is probably one of the most important things because you could make uh, archer class, um, demolition class. Uh, invisible uh, spy class from tier 2 if you wanted to. Loadout colon default. So when people go into it, this is what they'll get by default. Um, and you can change this uh, by creating a new class. So pyro, <coughs> maybe. And um, yeah, you can make as many as these as you want. Butter, butter soldier. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, and I believe you, I don't know whether there's permissions for them, there might be, um, I haven't looked at permissions in such a long time, I should really do a tutorial on permissions. So yeah, uh, that is mostly, yeah, there's the monument hill, so add that, if I can spell it correctly, of course, monument, colon, monument hill, colon, fight, there you go, so, um, We've set the flags, uh, we've edited things in the Zone CFG. Uh, let me just see if there is anything I've missed. Reset on the um, I think that's everything. Um, you can obviously delete uh, monuments and whatnot, but I think if we do save, is it save zone? Uh, yes, it is. So, save zone, YouTube, I think. So, we've saved it. Um, <coughs> so now, uh, let me just, if I remember. So, we've saved it. It's now like this. And now, if I put blocks in, um, pretend we've played a match and people have broken blocks and stuff. Um, if you do... Well, at the end of the match, it'll reset automatically, but you could do it uh, by hand, by reset zone, and then YouTube. And yeah, look, it worked. So, um, yeah, and it told you how long it took. So that's brilliant. I love that feature. It's just, yeah, such a cool feature. Well done to the developer. Um, yes. So, um, five lives. It actually shows you on these dynamic sides, which is brilliant. Um, and what you can do is hold shift, um, and it will change your class. So default, pyro, butter. Um, why did I say butter? Oh, what am I like? And then <clears throat> we set uh, two players, so it has stopped us from getting out of spawn. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to grab Link Park now, and we're going to have a play. I think I've covered everything. Um, I think so. Uh, what what you could actually do, um, what I'm going to do is war leave, make a new class. It's just class with TNT because that's very fun. Uh, one one thing you might do is if you do have classes with blocks or pickaxe, uh, people might complain that they can't build. So uh, use World Guard to create a region and set build to allow, and then set the priority of that region to a hundred, and then set the priority of underscore underscore global underscore underscore to less than 100 
and that should work. <clears throat> uh, it's quite confusing. I should do a tutorial on more world guard features. This is pretty cool. So now that we got Link Park in, he has joined the uh, orange team. I'm going to join the purple team. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to select the bomber class. And hopefully I can blow things up. Which is good. So this is the monument, which gives me health. That was probably quite loud. Uh, so I'm going to show you what if you try and go outside of the, uh, the arena. Something really cool happens. So obviously you can't destroy the outer wall. But if I were to fly up, um, I will show you what happens. So glass appears. It won't let me escape, which is really, really cool. Um, such, a, such a lovely feature. So um, <clears throat> let's nick the cake. And to score a point, we need to reach your team's spawn, which is perfect. Yay. And that replenishes um, life pool. <coughs> right. Let me try nicking this. Oh, right. Um, green team don't... Actually, the orange team don't actually have a flag. So, um, which his name is going to um, nick my flag. So it should pop up on the screen in a second. Oh. I'll show you from here. So, Link Park's going over. He's about to steal it. He's got it. So, uh, once you've nicked something from the enemy team, you don't have any weapons. So this is why you trap them in some TNT and blow it up. So, this is sort of the grief warfare I was talking about. And it might get a bit loud. Bit loud. Oh dear. Quite a lot of mobs there. Problem solved. Oh. Right, there we go. So um, that's the plugin in a nutshell. It's really good. You can edit it even more if you want. And my FPS has dropped. Why is this? I haven't got that many things open. What have I got? Um, CSGO server, a couple of Minecraft. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm really close to 5,000 subscribers, like 30 or something, or 40. So I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow. If I'm, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs>